Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial. In this one I'll be talking about the programming of pilot waypoints into the MCDU. Now that feature in the MCDU can be very helpful sometimes in certain situations, especially for example when you need to fly an approach that has not been programmed in the NAF database. To give you an example, we're going to fly a circling approach here in Dubrovnik and uh, Navigraph actually has a circling approach procedure published but this one is not stored in the database of the FMS. So I'll show you exactly how you can program this approach into the FMS that will help you fly along the uh, published track here and then uh, make the whole approach a lot easier. You can see that today, as a matter of fact, the live data gives us a wind from the west with 10 knots, uh, good visibility, a few 5,200 uh, feet, 30 degrees Celsius, and a QNH of 1014. So best conditions for a nice visual circling approach. Now, just in case you're wondering why we're not flying the published VOR 3.0 approach, well, for one, it's not really uh, that much simpler to fly and on the other hand it has a lot more track miles burning a lot more fuel taking more time so while we prepare the approach in the fms we'll fly a holding pattern here overhead the point c pile and then once we've programmed everything we'll start the approach so first of all i'll show you where you find the menu for the uh, pilot waypoints you need to go to the point uh, data then you go to page 2 and on the right top side line selectly one right you'll find pilot waypoints first of all delete everything out that you have inserted beforehand and there you have the menu for the insertion so first what we'll do we'll define a name we'll call that Dubrovnik 01 and now you have three options to define that waypoint. So it's either latitude, longitude, place bearing distance, or place bearing, place bearing. Now for us on the chart, we have a very nicely defined first waypoint, which means we'll take the place Charlie Victor beacon, and then we have a track of 158 degrees and a distance of 3.5 nautical miles. We'll select the correct beacon here, Charlie Victor, frequency 397 and that's it there we have the first waypoint make sure you store that and in order to see the waypoint here on the NAF display you need to go either put that into the fix page or into the flight plan page we'll take the fix info for now so just put in the waypoint name Delta Uniform 01 and there it is on the NAF display. That's the first waypoint, identical to what you can see on the chart. So now we go and program the second waypoint. We go back to the stored waypoint list, press new waypoint, and this time we'll define the next waypoint by our first one, Delta Uniform 01, as a place. From there we have a track on the chart that says 115 degrees, and it gives us a distance of 3.3 nautical miles. And again, we'll store that. However, we're gonna name that Delta Uniform 02, so it's easier for us to find it later on. And press store. And we go back to fix info page, this time number two. We'll enter the new waypoint, Delta Uniform 02. And of course, it will show up on the NAF display. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. There you can see that a little bit better. And if you compare that to the chart, that's uh, identical. Now for the last waypoint, Golf Romeo, we don't need to uh, define a pilot waypoint. We can just simply put Golf Romeo into the fixed info page, select the correct uh, NDB, and there it is showing up on the NAF display. So now we need to program those waypoints into a flight plan. However, we cannot do this on the primary flight plan because there the ILS approach for runway 1-2 is programmed 
And initially we have to fly that approach until we reach that uh, pattern altitude of 2,200 feet. So what we can do is program a secondary flight plan with that circling approach, including the waypoints that we've just created. For that, we're going to copy the active flight plan and then modify that flight plan to our liking. So we're going to arrival, then we're going to choose the runway 30, nothing else, no arrival route, um, no approach. So no star and no via. And then we have the runway 30 and the Charlie Foxtrot fix, which uh, was not needed. So we're going to clear Charlie Foxtrot fix out. And then we will program in our waypoints. So we'll start off with Charlie Victor. From there we're going to Delta Uniform 01. Then from there we'll go Delta Uniform 02. And then last but not least we'll go to Golf Romeo. Make sure we select the correct NDB there. And then we'll clear the flight plan discontinuity out. And there you go, there's the pattern on the secondary flight plan. We're not going to activate that just yet. What we can also do is um, have a look at the pattern altitudes and think about the airspeeds that we want to fly. So let's have a look at Delta Uniform 01. I think a good speed at that point would be 160 knots for the downwind. And we're going to fly at 2,170 feet. However, no, let's increase that to 2,200 because that's what we'll set in the flight control unit. Descend. There's the first uh, restriction. Then we'll do Delta Uniform 02. Here, I think a good speed would be 150 knots just before the base turn. And for the altitude. Uh, yeah, we'll put in 2,200 again. However, I might change that later on um, because uh, we might want to start our descent just a little bit prior to that. So we can see Golf Romeo has calculated its own path now. It wants to cross Golf Romeo at around 1,100 feet. Elevation is about 550 feet, so that's 600 feet, two miles out, perfect. So uh, that's the correct altitude, three degree profile. So that looks uh, like it should do. Everything looks good. So I'm just having a look at the remaining track miles from Delta Uniform 2, and that's only four miles four miles that should be 1200 feet above the ground and so yeah I'll change the uh, the altitude goal for Delta Uniform 2 to 1800 feet and we'll put that in so that looks a bit uh, more accurate so that completes the programming of our circling pattern we'll now go to uh, the normal procedures i.e. setting the RATNAV page, performance approach page, that sort of stuff. So we've put in uh, Dubrovnik VOR on VOR1, VOR2. ADF1 has Charlie Victor and ADF2 has Golf Romeo. Next we've inserted the approach data regarding the uh, QH, wind, temperatures, minimum, etc. Now, in order to make this video a little bit shorter, I'm going to skip forward to the point where we're about to reach the pattern altitude and just before we uh, activate the secondary flight plan.
Okay, so we are approaching pattern altitude, and so it's time to activate the secondary flight plan. Just select that, and there you go. Now the secondary flight plan has become the active one. We'll select Charlie Victor, go back to NAV mode, and now the aircraft will follow the planned routing. And so, contrary to uh, flying this whole thing the whole procedure manually. We can now simply concentrate on other things, reduce the workload that way, and the aircraft will uh, automatically follow the correct lateral path. Now, unfortunately, when you activate the secondary flight plan, it kicks out the performance data in the approach page, so you have to re-enter that. Okay, so we're turning uh, to our first waypoint that we've programmed, Delta Uniform 01, maintaining 2,200 feet and 160 knots. Right, I've called up the Navigraph chart here with the position overlay and we can see that the programmed uh, track is uh, very, very good, very close to the uh, published one. So now just turning onto the downwind track 115 degrees to our next waypoint Delta Uniform 02. And also we'll start our descent towards 1800 feet and reduce the speed 150 knots. Just about to reach our second waypoint. Aircraft are starting its turn, so it's now time to fly manually. We'll select the flaps full, take the autopilot out. Now I'm using a standard 25 degree bank turn. Maybe that's a bit too tight could have uh, used a bit less bank, but nevertheless, we are tracking towards um, the Gulf of Romy Beacon. We can select that actually. 1,000. 1,000 is checked. There's the runway, approaching the path. We have to watch out descent rate now. And then we'll turn final. So we just got a bit low here, and I'm correcting that. There we are, one white, three red. So from here we'll just try to stabilize the aircraft on the correct path. Landing checklist, Ikamimo landing, no blue. 1000 checked again, oh some thunderstorms there in the background. Right, on the path again, stabilizing. Retard. Retard. Drive. 
Right, touchdown safely in Dubrovnik, in the touchdown zone. Here's the spoilers, reverse green, decel. And that's how you fly a circling approach by programming your own waypoints in the MCDU. I do hope you've enjoyed that, maybe learned a thing or two, and uh, yeah, try it out yourself. I will do another video um, at some point where I'll explain how to define the waypoints by um, two places and two bearings and also the uh, latitude longitude uh, waypoint definition. Until then, as always guys, take care, have fun flying and have happy landings.